What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of Ruin Aranduma. Today you guys got a really interesting team, you could probably tell by the title. Um, I've gone for the lowest rated overpowered BPL team, in my opinion of course. You guys may uh, have different opinions. Uh, there's not a single player rated above 80, there is one 80 rated player and that is David De Gea. We're going to get into the team in a second though, but if you guys would like to purchase any Ultimate Team Coins, check out FIFAcointrader.com, their link is in the description, a very fast and reliable service. And for this episode of Ruin Aranima, guys, I've asked for some Twitter questions, so you guys have um, hit me up with like literally thousands of questions, well not literally, like figuratively thousands, but literally hundreds of questions. Um, but before we get into the questions, guys, we're going to go through this team, um, and you know th this team it looks fucking insane, man. Honestly, like it's so low rated. But in goal, we've got David De Gea, uh, we've got Kyle Walker, David Luiz, Eunice Kabul, and Chris Smalling with Kieran Gibbs in defence. Uh, I've got Tom Huddleston and Sissoko in midfield, and then I've got Sturridge, Morales, and Chamberlain up front. Now there are a few other alternatives you can have, like in left. Left forward, you can have Sinclair or Jarvis, um, both equally as good, I guess. Uh, Sinclair is rated 75, whereas Oxlade is rated 76. But I actually think uh, Oxlade and Jarvis are better players than Sinclair. Um, you could go at left wing back instead of Kieran Gibbs. You could have Kieran Richardson. I think Richardson is rated 77. Other than that, guys, there's not too much different you could have in this team. I mean, you could go for Aaron Lennon at right forward, but Sturridge is OP as fuck. Um, and then Morales up front, there's not many uh, lower rated players than him that are better than him. So this for me is the team that is overpowered, the most overpowered BPL team that's low rated. Um, and this team, guys, you can get this team for about 20 to 25,000 coins. No word of a lie. Like I, I just, I've got currently still in my club, I've got, you won't be able to see this, but I've got 4,730 coins. And I had like 32,000 coins when I started building this team. So I built this team for like 28k and I overpaid a little bit for some of the players just because I wanted to buy the team. Um, so we're going to go into a game and uh, see see how this team plays. Of course, this is live com, ruin a random, and that's what this is about. And if you guys wouldn't mind dropping a like on the video, that would be awesome. If we could get this to like four or 5,000 likes, I'd really appreciate that. So we come up against a 4-5-1. Bundesliga team. He's got Lewandowski, Royce, Goetze. Uh, he's got Bastos and uh, Kuba on right midfield. Gundogan, Hummel, Santana. Don't know who the left back is. Piszczek and the goalkeeper that I always get the name wrong. That's a strong team. So this is going to be an interesting game. So we're going to go into the question straight away, guys. And uh, the first question is, is this a good question from Ali? Um, yeah, that's that was a stunning question, bro. Um, the next question is from Real Tweet Bomb, and he says, "How do you feel about FIFA 14?" Now, FIFA 14 for me, uh, I'm excited. Like FIFA 13 is dying down, man. Like you know, series just don't do good anymore. Um, anyone that gets views in FIFA at the moment is doing like pink slips or wagers, and uh, it's the only reason why they get views is because it's entertaining to watch someone potentially lose something. Um, so I think the the whole FIFA, everyone's bored of FIFA. Everything's been done, you know. Squad builders have been done, like um, pack openings. There's no more good players in packs, so people don't want to see pack openings. So I tell you, like, FIFA 14 cannot come quick enough. I've got so many incredible ideas for FIFA 14, or at least I think they're incredible. Of course, they could uh, fail massively. Like, I, I think they're very unique, they're very different, and uh, I could implement them in FIFA 13, but it would be ridiculously retarded. Like, if I, if I did some of the stuff, you'd be like, why the hell are you showing me this? <laughs> like, it, it wouldn't make sense to do it in... Um, that's a foul ref, don't worry about it, I've still got the ball. Uh, yeah, it wouldn't make any sense to do... Um, to do what I've got planned for FIFA 14 and FIFA 13, so uh, I'm not going to basically. Here we go with Sissoko, he steps inside. Oh, I tried to do the the, um, the step over. But yes, yeah, so I I can't wait for FIFA 14, honestly. I'm hoping I'll be better at the, the game than I am at FIFA 13 as well, um, because I'm, I've not, I've, I've gone through phases with FIFA 13 where I've, I've felt like I'm good and I've known I'm bad, um, but every time I feel like I'm good at the game, and like a few days later, I will end up just going back to my normal kind of average three or four wins per loss um, style, really. And uh, I don't want that. I want to be able to do it like I was in FIFA 11, where I could go like 15 or 20 wins per loss, because that's the sort of ratio that I was at um, in... Oh, go on then, down the left. Who have we got here? Oh, that's Ox. Um, so yeah, I'm, I can't wait for FIFA 14. 
So Ben Davidson says, Nepenthes, what would you like better? No, wait, sorry. So Ben Davidson says, what next-gen console will you be getting first? Um, whichever one comes out first for me. Don't let him score here. Well done. Um, I'm excited for both of them. I, I don't have preference in console. The reason why I use PS3, as I've explained many, many times, is just because the, the people that I used to play games with were on PS3, and now they tend to be on Xbox, so it, it's it's much a much... Oh, crap, that was a terrible touch. It's much of a muchness in terms of uh, console like I, I will get used to whatever console my friends play on essentially um, so uh, yeah like it, I, I think I do understand the PS4 comes out first like I could be mistaken but I've got a 50-50 got a chance of being right so um, uh, it would be nice if I was right on that one um, go on then we've got that over the top oh that's good defending uh, the next question is um, would you take a dick to the ass to save your own life well fuck yeah I would like who, who wouldn't like that you got to be ridiculously narrow-minded or whatever to to um, not take a dick to the ass to uh, just sirens everywhere. Um, yeah, like just to just to stay alive. What what would you rather? Would you rather die than get fucked in the ass? I don't know. Some people are probably gonna wait. Yeah, I ain't ever taking a dick up my ass. That's fucking gay. Let me tell you something, guys. It's only gay if you push back. Just don't push back. You're golden. Wow, this guy is uh, getting desperate in defense. I, I really should be capitalizing on my my offense here. Right, let's go, because he's... Uh... No, right, come on. Come on, Fellaini. Right, who's he got? He's got Hummels, I've got Chamberlain. That's no contest. Let's go. Go on, Chambo. Boom, rocket over. The next question we have got is from um, Mirko. What do you like better, UFC or boxing, and why? Um, I've been a boxing fan my whole life, like watching Mike Tyson when I was growing up, watching Lennox, Lennox Lewis, uh, I, you know, I miss the days of uh, like Sugar Ray Leonard and stuff, obviously I'm far, far too young for that, even though I'm a bit of a bit of an old timer. Um, I've watched boxing since I was young, like since literally like eight, nine years old. My dad loves boxing, he's been to, like he went to the States to watch uh, Lewis, uh, Lennox Lewis fight, I think it was Holyfield. Um, but I, oh come on! What kind of header is that? Um, yeah, so I don't know. Like I've been I've been into it my whole life, and when I first started watching UFC, it wasn't my thing, man. Because like I used to watch it, and, and like the groundwork, like the the grappling, the the ground and pound, that sort of stuff, that part of UFC, I found boring. Like I, I used to, I'd watch it, and I'd be like, damn, why aren't these just why aren't these guys just knocking each other out? You know, like because I've watched boxing for so long. I was so used to two guys just standing there and, and trading blows and, and that kind of being what fighting sport was about, I guess. Um, but, uh, yeah, you've got that. There we go. Um, but after a while, I kept I watched UFC and I watched UFC. And the reason why I kept watching it is because people like Chuck Liddell and who just... Here we go. Oh, that is nice. That's a cracking goal from Sturridge there. Yeah, people like Chuck Liddell, he would go into every fight looking to knock the motherfucker out. And, and that was entertaining. So I kept watching it, kept watching it. And I, I started to gain more of a respect for the fact that it is mixed martial arts. They, they learn so many, like fighting styles or like at least the the, the better the better fighters do the, the guys that tend to get knocked the fuck out all the time learn or develop just one or two and, and don't really know too much but you you have more of a understanding as to why they they fight like they fight and and then you get some fighters are just incredible off their back you know some fighters are great on the ground seeing submissions and uh, like TKOs is awesome like you I don't know I guess I developed uh, a respect for the sport the more I watched it and now like I watch all of it like even the prelims and everything like, I love UFC it, it's probably um, one of my favorite pastimes to watch on TV and if you ask me this question um, I'd say a year maybe not a year ago maybe if you asked me this question three years ago I'd have said to you hands down boxing um, but these days, I I much much prefer UFC to boxing. And, and like when I when I take to a fighter, like when I find a fighter that I really like, for example, like uh, John Jones, because John Jones is insane. 
Um, I'll go and like learn a lot about them. Like I went back and watched all of John Jones fights, literally every single fight he's ever had. Um, and his one loss was like a little bit of nonsense. I don't know if you guys know of or follow John Jones or UFC, but um, his the one fight that he he got awarded to as a loss was for some illegal elbows. But uh, it wasn't the ref that stopped it. It was the judges that decided it was illegal. It was just fucking bullshit. He he smashed a guy like it shouldn't have been a loss. Um, he got some E8s. Um, but yeah, so like John Jones, um, Loyota Machida, fucking love Brock Lesnar. I really like, and and I go and I, like I watch the fighting histories of these guys, and then you start to learn a bit more about the person themselves. And there's so much training and discipline involved in UFC, and then you get people that just treat it like shit. They're just oh, all it is is two guys like two thugs beating each other up. It's like you don't fucking understand the the level of training and whatever that they go through and how much respect they deserve from people who don't appreciate or understand the support like it's nuts like just how how little people do know about the sport he's got a two on one in the box here this this could be trouble oh crap is oh that's nice he, he fucked that he could have just uh, crossed that in he would have had a, a good chance to score but never mind um we got the ox here coming in ox oh look at that he's through well, through in no stretch of the imagination. Oh, there we go. Now he's through. That's got to be a goal. Oh, what a fucking header that was. So the next question we've got, will you start doing pink slips if you haven't already? Yes, I will start doing pink slips. Um, I'm just trying to figure out a decent way to make it entertaining as others. Why do you always wear hats? Well, the reason why I wear a hat at the moment, <coughs> excuse me, at the moment is because, oh, lovely goal there. Eunice Cabal. It's because my hair's a fu fucking mess. If you watch yesterday's Ruin Around Emma, you'll see. I'm looking over there, the camera's there. Um, if you watch yesterday's Ruin Around Emma, you'll see how bad my hair is and why I'm wearing a hat. And it, and it has been real hot recently, but I don't know, man. I'm just, uh, I'm pretty self-conscious with what I look like. And uh, I don't like my hair to be a mess, especially. And I could just go and get it cut because there's a salon across the road. But um, we just, me and my girlfriend just moved into this place. And uh, my dog is like, he he's not used to it yet. Um, and because of that, we like every time I leave, he just barks until I come back, like, and that's got to really piss the neighbours off. So I can't get my hair cut until tomorrow, actually, when uh, when my girlfriend has a day off work. I've, I've booked an appointment to go and get it cut tomorrow. Whether or not I get up in time to to keep that appointment is a uh, completely oh crap, a completely different matter. That's a great save. He's this guy's really bad at attacking. He's uh, he's had many chances to. Um, to put the ball in the back of the net, but uh, never mind, that's uh, his his loss, my game. Oh, that's some good defending. Who is that? Carl Walker, well in, son. Um, let's, uh, oh, no, 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 no. I, was, I wanted that to go to the centre midfielder. Go on in, cut back, boom, thank you. No, again, I want that to go to the centre midfielder. Let's have another question. Um, what is the most uncomfortable moment you have ever been in? Um, that's, a, that's an interesting question. Something I, I'll have to actually uh, think about because I, I don't know if I can just um, come up with that off the top of my head. I, don't, I genuinely would have to think about that. Oh no, I turned into that. No! I'm bagging him for his attacking. That was fucking terrible. Don't let him. No, 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 no. Track the run, track the run. There we go. Good defending, good defending. Um, I don't know about that one. I'm, I'm really sorry that I'm unable to answer your question there, but I genuinely can't. So, um, um, yeah, next question. Uh, Favourite video game? Um, there's, there's a few video games that I've really, really loved. Come and keep up. Yes. Um, you got the... For, for me, one of my favourite ever video games was Gears of War. I love that game. Call of Duty 4, that was an incredible game. Uh, FIFA World Cup 2010, that was a great game. Um, FIFA 11 was actually a great game. Like, there's a lot of video games that I would uh, turn to um, if FIFA, you know, if, if, if I, I guess if I didn't do YouTube um, or if I had more time on my hands to play games. But if I had to pick one video game that I could could have played, like if if the era stayed the same and like the people that were in the game stayed the same and stuff, like it would be COD 4, I'd say. Like I could play that game, or I did play that game all day, every day. I had so many hours invested into that game. It was just ridiculous. Um, I played that game for about four years because World of War, not World of War. Um, no, it was World of War, wasn't it? Call of Duty World of War. Uh, oh, come on, how does he get that? That's ridiculous. Um, whatever the next one after COD 4 was, I hated that game. Um, 
so I didn't play it basically, and I, I stay stuck with um, stuck with COD four. I can't believe you managed to get that ball in the back of the net. Um, I really want to go and score now. So uh, here we go, Go on, Huddleston. Oh my God! I can't believe you managed to clear that. Um, next question we've got is. Who is your favourite person ever? Um, God, what a what a question! What a question! Let me ask you guys. Actually, who is your guys' favourite person ever? Because there's a lot of people that have done a lot of good things for me in my life. Um, none more so than my mum and my dad uh, for, for putting me on the planet, of course. Um, but uh, oh, come on, Ox! Oh, come on, man! How can I not beat this guy? Um, but uh, I'd say one of, I guess the person I respect the absolute most, and um, it's, it's probably my dad. Like, you know, without him, I wouldn't be where I am today. Um, he's, he's helped me through a lot in my life, and he's, he's a good man. He's a really good man. He's a bit of an alcoholic, but other than he is a, he's a very good man. Um, come on, Morales. Oh, no, that's not what I was trying to do. No, no, no. Why can't you just pass the simple ball instead of the fucking chip ball? What minute are we in? 80 second minute. Um, yeah, so uh, that that would be my answer. My dad, uh, I'm really, really trying to get this ball. No, no, no. Don't fuck me about defense. Don't fuck me about Right, let's go. We've got a, got a good chance to break here. We've got Morales. Oh, my God, Morales. That was terrible. Go on, Sturridge. Oh my god, he's blocked it. We'll take one more question. Um, what was the most another embarrassing moment life question? Um, do you think Bale will move from the BPL? Um, I have genuinely no idea. I've, I've not really been keeping up on the transfer news recently um, because like this, this stage bores me. Until something actually happens in transfers, it's boring because it's so much speculation and people are like, oh, this player sign and that player sign and then Twitter rumours just ruin everything because people on Twitter will be like, like one person tweeted me, Higuain has signed for Arsenal and I, I checked Twitter out and like it was trending pretty much like Higuain had signed for Arsenal. It turns out Arsenal haven't even put a bid in for Higuain but everyone believed that Higuain had signed for Arsenal because of Twitter. So I, I don't like the speculation aspect of things. I like to know for sure whether or not something has happened. So until like Sky Sports News tells me otherwise, I guess. Um, oh my God, I did not do that. What the fuck? Ah, oh, that's frustrating. I drew that game 2-2, guys. Really disappointed. So maybe this team isn't as OP as I thought, or maybe it's because I'm doing it as a live com. Um, Kabul and Sturridge with the goals. I really, really feel like I should have won that game. Like I'm a bit disappointed in myself. Although it was very even. Possession, shots, uh, passing, everything was very even. We even put 18 tackles in each as well. Um, so I guess a draw there is a very fair result. And we pick up one more point. As you can see, my record in this division is, is very terrible at the moment. Three wins, two draws and three losses. And that's because I'd switched away from the three, uh, the 5 2, two one and, and tried other formations. And I just hate them. Um, but this is the end of the episode, guys. So if you have enjoyed this, uh, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, if you want to ask me any questions, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. It's twitter.com slash Nepenthes. I'm very active on there, um, sometimes too active. Um, look at that DNF as well, 03DNF. Fuck you, EA. Fuck you. Um, and yeah, so that's the end of the video, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed this, and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace! Wait, I just hiccuped at the same time. Fuck this, man. I'm gone.